What's up, V-Gang? So I'm sure you know what okonomiyaki is if you're familiar with Japanese cuisine, but just in case you don't know, it's basically a cabbage pancake filled with whatever ingredients that you want to put in it. Now, mainstream okonomiyaki uses a batter made with eggs, but obviously we're making vegan okonomiyaki here, so I'll be substituting that with a mixture of soy flour and baking powder. So I'll be making two different versions, one that tries to emulate the more classic version, and the other is a more healthier version that uses whole food ingredients. So, you curious to know how different they'll both turn out? Well, less chit chat, more chop chop. Let me show you the way. So first, I'm gonna get the kombu and shiitake dashi going. I'll be using this for both the classic and whole food version, but I'll start with making the classic version first. Let it gently simmer for 30 minutes. Strain it and let the dashi cool down to room temperature. I'm also saving and slicing up the mushrooms to add to the batter. Add the dry batter ingredients to a large bowl and whisk in the dashi until it's nice and smooth. Then add in the rest of the batter ingredients. So the base of this okonomiyaki is pretty much just cabbage, but it's really up to you to add whatever other ingredients that you like. Heat some oil in a hot pan over high heat and scoop in some of the batter. Be sure to turn down the heat after adding in the batter so that it you know, doesn't brown too fast. Round out the edges and shape it into a nice looking pancake. Flip it over when it's golden brown, then cover it with a lid and let it fry over medium low heat until cooked through. So for the classic toppings, I'm using a store-bought okonomi sauce, which is basically a sweet and sour fruit and veg sauce. If you have issues getting a hold of it, then just substitute it with plum sauce or anything that's similar. Drizzle on some vegan mayo and then sprinkle on some green seaweed flakes. Green seaweed flakes or aonori is kind of a rare ingredient, so you might want to sub it with regular nori instead. Finish with fried onions and pickled ginger. Wow, man, it's been so long since I've had okonomiyaki and this absolutely hits the spot. It surprisingly tastes really similar to the classic uh, non-vegan version, except that this obviously doesn't have bonito flakes on it. Pretty good trade-off if it means not having to slice up innocent fishies just for, you know, a freaking pancake, you know what I mean? All right, let's move on to the much healthier whole food version. Okay, so I'm gonna make some homemade tofu mayo since the store-bought vegan mayo isn't really suitable for the whole food version. It's pretty straightforward, just add all the ingredients together and blend it up until very smooth. Transfer it to a squeeze bottle so that it's a lot easier to drizzle on. Just all over the place. Okay, so moving on to the okonomi sauce, we're gonna need to make a whole food version since the store-bought stuff isn't suitable either. Dry saute the fruit and veg until caramelized. 
At this point, add in the tomato paste and give it a quick saute. Deglaze with soy sauce and add in the dates and dashi. Then let it gently simmer on low heat for about, I'd say 15 minutes until everything is super soft. I'm gonna blend it along with the rest of the ingredients. Check the consistency and seasoning and adjust accordingly. Alright, so the batter is pretty much the same as the classic version except that it swaps out all-purpose flour with spelt flour. Also, I'm frying it in a dry non-stick pan. It's pretty much the same process except that I'm not using any oil here. For the toppings, I'm using the homemade sauce and mayo. Also gonna top it with finely sliced green onions, pickled red ginger, and my homemade vegetable burikake. If you're interested in making it, the video link is in the description. Mm. So the flavor of the pancake itself is pretty much the same but compared to the classic version it's not as crispy but still hella good though. The homemade sauce and the mayo they're just way better compared to the store-bought stuff. I guess it's sort of a trade-off between you know convenience and nutrition and taste. So yeah let me know which version you prefer and if you're interested in the full written recipe it's actually available on my Patreon. Alright V-Gang thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.